This guy right here says, I dare you to try this strategy. Blue Farm Village Benjamin, if you have already done it, that's my bad. So for today's video, we're going to be taking on this guy's dare and using this strategy. Guys, this is the worst strategy in all of BTD Battles 2, so let's see if we can actually win. So we got the map Plutonium Mines, and of course my strategy is going to be Normal Benjamin, Glue Farm Village, and it looks like our opponent over here is going to be using Normal Oban as their hero. Why am I doing this as a video today? I have literally no idea, but let's freaking get it. So we need our glue to glue the balloons right as they come out the map. So we're going to have to go for glue, I guess, like right here. And Bro. Oh, no, no, there, there, <laughs> there is no shots that this guy is all wh what are the chances what are the odds of that literally somebody has got to look that up. are you kidding me he's also using glue i absolutely freaking love it okay so i'm gonna eco one more time and i think after that we should be good now he's tower boosting against the reds i don't think we really need to do that um actually we might need to do that because uh oh wait no 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 we're good we're good right we're good, right? Because he, for whatever reason, he stopped equaling with the reds. Why Why are you also using glue? Why? Is he going to die? He's going to die to the constant reds. Okay, so note to self, never set the glue down right here. Uh, but this guy <laughs> is straight up going to die. Oh, F's in the chat for the young man. No way we both start out with the glue. But I will catch y'all in the next one. Two very boring minutes later. Because again, these are going to be turning into whites. Oh, 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 you're, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, I was going to say, right, he's dead, but he ended up dying. BT bot, yeah, that's kind of what you are. I, I can't even lie. <laughs> All right, boys. Once again, starting off with the glue. Let's go for the corrosive so we can actually pop some of these balloons down. Bigger globs as well. And for a map like this, maybe actually I should have had it more to the right so that we can pop some of these red balloons once again. Because, yeah, we're going to be leaking quite a bit of lives here. Oh, my God. We actually might die. We actually might die. And we just made it into CC. Bro, you're kidding. Okay, so let's tower boost that. I know for a fact we'll barely have enough money to go for this. So let's go for that. Perfect. Now, we might die to that, though. We're dead to this. Yep. Okay. Um, Before I actually end up dying, let me just put myself out of my misery. Let's just surrender. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we literally found the same exact guy. We're still in Ceramic Crucible. So I've got to get my revenge, ultimately, on this guy. Two very boring minutes later. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm so close to death. I'm actually so close to death. And I think I just died right there. Yep. Dang it. All right, this time we got it, boys. And I'm setting the glue down here because the first game, remember, it was so bad. He's not even sending us an eco. Okay, easy clap send, easy clap. So I'm going to go for the corrosive glue here as well. So the glue itself can pop down all these red balloons. Of course, we're not going to be able to fully defend. That's a no-brainer, all right? But it's fine at the same time. So let's stop ecoing here right about now. Save up enough money to go for this glue splatter. Perfection. Now he's sending us space blues. Okay, so hopefully we should be good. Oh, wait, dude. My glue is gluing the AI balloons too? Oh, glue is so freaking goaded, man. Let's go. We got the first blood on this guy. That's a pretty good sign if you do ask me, okay? So maybe with this game, we should try to save up enough money to go for the glue hose immediately. It's just a very, very risky play, especially if this guy... Yeah, okay. He's going to continue on the aggression with the spaced eco. So maybe then we should play this safe and just go for another 2-2-0. Two, two, it seemed to work out... Uh, it was all right. Actually, I'm going to take back all of what I just said, and we're going to save up enough money to go for the glue hose, okay? So... We would barely have enough money right now if we just stop equaling. So just to be safe, for safety measures... Okay, we actually won't have enough money. Scratch that. See, I'm bad at math, man. Jesus, man. Okay, at least, though, that he's not sending us any sort of space yellows because space yellows... Oh, okay, he just started to send those. We got the glue hose, though, now on the map, okay? Glue hose is going to be able to glue down literally every single balloon for us. So we should ultimately be fine all the way up until the next round, round five. We cannot fully defend against space whites, but with having the glue hose, uh, it can actually pop down those space whites because the space whites, they'll turn into red balloons, right? But the glue hose should be able to pick those back up because the balloons be at this point once again. So maybe actually we'll be fine with just a single glue hose on the map, all right? So I'm gonna try then, I guess, to go for Benjamin here on round five. I'm gonna also get the space decoy. He's got the Glaive Ricochet over on his side and also Oban as his hero. So 
He's going to be absolutely fine in my opinion. And uh, we're going to be going for Benny Ben all the way up here. So let's just do that now just to seal the deal. And let's see. Okay, he's now starting to send us some Space Whites. Let's see if we can actually defend against these Space Whites here. See, look, they're going to turn down the reds and they're going to be unglued. Okay, but like I said, the glue hose, yep, the glue hose is going to be able to hit them once again, though, for us. Uh, thus allowing us to be able to defend so that is absolutely awesome and uh let's go for a banana farm here oh my god it's about time we finally managed to actually set down the banana farm for the very first time with today's video okay he's probably like bro what in the world what, like, what kind of strategy is this man it's the best strategy of them all of course i mean we've got the glue and the farm in the village to enhance our glue it's just so goaded all right so i am probably just gonna continue on space eco and yet definitely that's exactly what i want to do um and i'm probably gonna try to go i don't know should we go for another banana farm is the ultimate question it's a bit risky because here on round nine he's gonna be able to send us regen balloons and obviously with us having the glue host we cannot defend against those said regen balloons so because of that I think I'm going to play this safe and just go for a balloon dissolver here. And I'm going with the middle path as well, by the way, because I want that bigger globs in the uh, glue splatter, okay? Because I want this balloon dissolver to affect as many balloons as possible, uh, because I've noticed that some people say the bottom cross path is a little bit better. No, we, we, we don't want to mess with that cross path. And also, too, we could actually set this bad boy too strong, so let's just do that. Let's go for the blue dissolver now, just in case if he wants to send us space regen zebras here. And uh, after that, let's just go for this. Perfect, dude. Now, I feel like we're just going to be smooth sailing. You might be asking yourself or me, Boltrix, how in the world are you going to pop down mock class balloons? I haven't gotten to that point yet. I, I got to be completely honest with y'all. I have literally zero clue. Maybe we'll have enough money to go for a super glue by then um, because that is like my only hope. Maybe look, like, dude, what if I went for a primary expertise? That would be wild. Okay, why did I just go for another farm though? That wasn't the smartest thing because I kind of need some camera detection with this radar scanner village. So let's go over that. Uh, we're going to be a little bit short on money. No, wait, we're good. We're actually good. Let's freaking go this is so this is so easy literally so easy okay so he's sending me constant black eco right now i think with these glues though we should be good okay wait some the glue hose though it missed a few balloons right there but we're still gonna end up being good he's got the sub over on his side to decam okay so for the sake of content i want to kind of drag this game on a little bit further i could have sent space rainbows there on round 12 i completely forgot see i'm still not used to sending those on round 12 i gotta remember to do that all right but at the same time it's really like not that big of a deal in my opinion but we're gonna try to hit 1000 eco i guess we got finally our three two zero zero farms he's sending us constant purples we're fine against those oh my glue so good it's so good it's literally so freaking good do we have to go for a bloom liquefier possibly Dude, I don't think, like, glue can really pop down even regular mobs for us. I, I just don't think it can do anything. We can go for a mob glue to help stall, uh, but the balloon dissolver, it, it does technically do a little bit of damage to mob class balloons. So I, I guess I'm going to have to go for this. Um, I should probably be upgrading my farms, though. Yeah, definitely. So let me go for a marketplace here. I'm just going to spam marketplaces. And this is the max amount of farm spots, by the way, that we can have on this map, which is quite unfortunate because three banana farms yeah that's not that many at all bro he's gonna be able to send me a mob class balloon though do i dare go oh my i don't know what to do i actually do not know what to do so i'm gonna i guess just go for another glue right here yep let's just go over that now this is going to be our mob glue and i'm gonna have to probably cross path this with the middle path okay so yeah let's just go over that now let's set this bad boy to strong he's got the sniper over on his side let's just hope and pray that he doesn't send us anything okay because that's definitely a huge possibility because there i don't think we could defend i actually don't think we could defend right now we could go for a primary or the top path upgrades as well so i probably should consider doing that maybe not yet because i would like to continue on increasing my farm game because they're not the best but i mean we're using this strategy guys so they're really not that bad at the same time what if i was able to go for like a monkey wall street on round 20 that would be absolutely insane because think about it guys then i could easily go for the super glue because the super glue i think is like twenty eight thousand dollars. so if we have enough money to go for that oh dude it's gonna be easy wraps for us okay um okay um i'm gonna have to sell you do i have to go for the balloon solver here possibly we just gotta pop off the layer too which is super super nice to know okay we cracked it down a little bit we cracked it down a little bit guys so i i'm probably gonna have to sell both of these right 
just go for balloon solver because i know that's going to do a little bit of mob class balloon damage for us so yeah let's do that sell it and uh let's just tower boost maybe use bend ability too i don't know i don't know boys okay go for primary training too oh my god oh my god we popped mobs we popped mobs guys we did the impossible with the strategy we popped down mob class balloons you just saw it with your very own freaking eyes and we just defended against that as well okay uh what do we do now what do, what do we do now though that's the thing <laughs> do we just go for another farm here okay wait, wait wait i could send him a bfb yeah yeah let me send him a fortified bfb here because he kind of did waste a lot of money oh yeah that's a bad tree spot for him too so i'm gonna balloon boost this as well why is this so intense i have literally no clue double more press no bro he's gonna be able to defend against that he defends that easy claps bro okay so he doesn't have the best ceramic popping power no he has man mob too no 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 he's a top hat sniper i didn't even realize that guys oh i'm so screwed okay let me go for more farms then again I, I guess that's really all i can do and also maybe i should use the level 10 ability right here yeah just to be safe i'm gonna use the level 10 ability i'm not sure if he's actually sending us a rush right now but again just to be freaking safe i'm kind of just hyped that we popped down the mobs though that's super super hype and boomer it's, it's just so good it's literally actually so good so I guess we're just going to continue on farming. Maybe I didn't, like, have to sell all those farms. Maybe I didn't have to go for a T5 glue to defend against 4 to 5 mobs. I really have no idea because I am not an expert when it comes to using the glue. Um, but again, nonetheless, we ended up defending. Okay, so for DDTs, we've got to go for super glue. That's literally the only way that we defend against those. So that's a bit unfortunate. But maybe I just sell Balloon Solver to go for the super glue and then counter uh, with DDTs towards him and just hope and pray that he dies that i think is our best shot okay and let's just hope to god that he does not end up saying that's like a zomg or something because seriously i have no idea on how to defend that all right but at least we got our three marketplaces back up on the freaking map we've got this map oh, actually i went for the relentless glue i don't know if i needed to go for that but i did anyway still got the glue hose and this balloon stall over here dude we're freaking vibing right now so if i sell all these farms i'll get about thirteen thousand dollars out of that as well okay so i think the super glue stuns the ddts doesn't necessarily do all that much damage so because of that we're probably gonna want to keep the balloon solver to pop down uh those ddts for us okay and we'll barely i think have enough money to go uh for the super glue here on round 26 so i'm definitely expecting him to do this I, I would not be surprised for an absolute second so let's see here so far in round 26 we are in fact good he's got trees to defend against ddts or the first couple of ddts that is so uh i guess we won't be sending him anything dude there's just no way this game goes around 30 though i literally only have glues bro literally only glues on the map how are you not rushing me okay we're gonna go for i'm gonna go for a central market we're gonna go for a central market i just don't think i'm gonna kill this guy he's just spamming more presses too like what am i supposed to do against that i don't think there's literally anything that i can do against that so i'm gonna go for a double central market here bro i'm so scared though round 28 especially because he's gonna be able to send us fast cooldown ddts we could also do the same thing on him but i kind of want to defend against ddts because that makes the content more exciting and also just the game more fun for me as well round 20 is already here though oh my goodness man i'm scared i am freaking scared but somehow he's just not rushing us no way that you're not rushing us right now like there's actually no way we could still go for the primary mentoring as well here on this village if we really wanted to but now we've got three central markets for round freaking 28 we can sell these for about 15k a piece as well in case we absolutely need the money okay so maybe i send him like a zomg here just like an unfortified zomg it's such an easy defend for him too but this will get him kind of busy like all he has to do by the way is just first strike that's literally all he has to do but i'm expecting him to not do that for whatever reason so let, let's just see how he reacts okay i'm actually curious to see i can't believe though the balloon solver like it doesn't pop the mobs even quicker and by the way he ended up tower boosting against that yep no sub on the map either so i expected him to do this um obviously we cannot defend against the bad so here on round 30 i'm not gonna send him a bad um because i'm expecting him to send us a bad if he ends up sending us a bad then uh we're just gonna have to counter okay straight up just gonna have to counter we could go for a monkey wall street here by the way i'm thinking oh my should we do it wait 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 can we even defend here we might not even be able to defend against this uh bfb um okay uh i don't know let's go for super glue 
Let's do it. Primary Monorain as well. I didn't know if we could defend against that or not, but guys, I, I honestly did not. We could also go for Glue Strike and the Glue Storm here as well. Oh, he ended up defending him against the ZOMG, by the way. I, I kind of expected that to happen, you know? So, wait. Maybe now, though, we should send him a BAD. We should. Dude, that would be so funny. Okay, so I'm going to send him an unfortified BAD here uh, whenever I get the chance, I guess. It's only $15,000. Uh, I guess I didn't really need to rebuild this marketplace here, but knowing that I had the super glue here, we can defend against ZOMGs. Why would you tower boost again? Maybe he meant to balloon boost at me. That is definitely a huge possibility. Okay, so I'm not going to rebuild any more farms. We could go for glue storm, by the way, because remember with glue storm, glue storm ability pelts the whole screen over 15 seconds with glue. Glue balloons take extra damage while glued. So we get that plus two damage on all of our other towers, aka our balloon solver here and our super glue. So. I guess the better cross path for the balloon solver I've heard is 502. Like I said though previously, I just wanted this thing to affect more balloons per hit. And if you want that to happen, you need the glue splatter upgrade. Okay, so let's send him a fast cooldown BAD here on round 32. And let's see what the young man wants to do against us. All right, he went for the elite defender. Wait, how, why is that? Oh, it looks like it's a fortified zeal or a BAD, but it's not. It's not a fortified BAD. No way you're not going to try to counter. Like, there's actually no way this is happening right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, am I in ZOMG? Am I in ZOMG? Am I in ZOMG? What? No, we're in lead dungeon right now. So this kind of does actually make sense. No offense. I'm not trying to be mean, but he's going for some turbochargers and stuff. That's just not going to be the play. And you're going to have to counter me whether you want to or not with ddts because he's not even going to be able to defend against the ddts underneath um i think he's going to counter here so yep 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 okay let's use this okay we could actually use the glue star oh wait we're good we're actually good right now oh my god look at dude it's stunning the ddts for us it is stunning the ddts for us i didn't even use the glue storm ability so i could sell this yeah let's sell this use that okay we're good we're actually good oh my god dude this strategy, meta, new meta convert, ladies and gentlemen, all right? He was not able to kill us with the DDT counter because Glue just infinitely stuns them. You guys have got to drop a like for that. That is absolutely insane. Holy cow. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we see if I can be ISAV's world record 60,000 plus eco in one game. Yes, that is what he said. We tried to beat it. So if you have yet to check it out, go make sure to watch it.